guys today I'm making a farmhouse style pedestal tray and I'm going to be using it as part of my Christmas tablescape. So I bought a piece of wood and some trim and here I'm just measuring off where I need to cut the trim for the edging. Perfect. I'm just rubbing over it lightly with a piece of sandpaper. You know, it might look like the sun is shining, but it was really cold when I did this. That's why I've got about five layers on and my hat. And now I'm giving the wood a coat of wood stain in the color walnut. And then once that's dry, I'll turn it over and do the other side. And painting the trim. And I left the wood stain to dry overnight and now I'm giving it a coat of uh, chalk paint in white. You're probably wondering why on earth is she painting over that wood stain? But bear with me, there's method to my madness as usual. <laughs> And you'll see that in a little bit. And now you can see why I did that. I'm just sanding off some of the paint to give it a distressed look. Um, by the way, something important, I know you can't see it, but I'm actually wearing a sanding mask while I'm doing this. And it's really important that you wear a mask, especially when you're sanding chalk paint, because it's so fine and it just, and there's just so much dust. So even though I'm doing this outside, I still need to wear a mask and I would never recommend sanding without one, whether you're sanding paint or wood. And then the last thing I'm doing before I'm going to assemble this pedestal tray is to give it a coat of Annie Sloan Soft Wax in clear. And I'm using my big round wax brush to do that. I'm not sure if you can see from the picture that the wax makes it a little bit darker, but it really brings out the grain in the wood as well, which is really lovely. And I'm just rubbing on a little coat of white wax and that's going to fill in all the little cracks and grains in the wood and it's going to look amazing. And I'm just using a soft cloth to add the white wax. And then I have to do all the bits of trim as well so that they all look the same. By the way, this project is on the blog and there's a very detailed tutorial. So if you're planning on making one of these yourself, I really would recommend going over to chalkingupsuccess.com and reading the blog post. Because as usual, there are tons of tips and loads of photos so you can see how i made this and now i'm using wood glue to attach the trim to the edges and just to be on the safe side i'm using some clamps to hold the wood really tight together while it's drying these are the feet i'm going to be using and they're just the ends of curtain rods so you can see that mine here they're hollow inside and I was really worried that there wouldn't be enough surface area to glue to the tray. So I had some dowel left over from another project and I decided to cut some short lengths to fit inside these wood finials. Uh, and I used wood glue to fix them in place inside. So now it's time for me to measure where my feet are going to go. So I'm just measuring in one centimeter from each edge and that's what I'm going to glue my, my legs. So just draw around so that I know where 
to glue it and I do the same for all four of my legs. And look at me, I should have done this before really. Now I'm just sanding um, the area where the legs are going to go so that um, I get some of the wax off and it will make it easier for the glue to stick to the wood. And again, I'm using my clamps to make sure that the feet are held really tight to the wood while they're drying. And when that's done, that's the tray all finished already. And now comes my favorite bit of all, styling. I managed to find these lovely candles in the shape of Christmas trees. Two white and two gold, that's just perfect. And then in between, I've got these three ceramic plant holders actually, but I'm using them for candles. And now comes the evergreen. I've just got a selection of different types of evergreen and I'm just placing it in and about the candles. And then I've got this set of Christmas lights. Looks like snowflakes. And then last of all, I'm adding some um, wooden ornaments like uh, Christmas stars with a little bit of gold on them. And some of them are a little bit rustic. And then from outside, I picked up some branches with blueberries. And then I'm popping in some of my vintage look mercury glass tree baubles to finish off. And this is how I used it to style my Christmas table. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Happy Christmas decorating and I'll see you next time.